Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video I want to share with you 5 beginner's mistakes when people are just starting to learn programming. And actually in the last 10 years I made lots of interviews and answered lots of questions of beginners. And actually these questions are really most often the same. Also make sure that you watch this video until the end, because I will share my bonus tip, which is also really important for all programmers and not only for beginners. So let's jump right into it. The most popular problem that I see in people, they want to jump in programming world really fast, which means they try to find some shortcuts, like for example some video or course where you can become a programmer in a week or maybe a month. Or they want to attend some bootcamp, which normally costs quite a lot of money, to become a programmer during a weekend. So here is the hard truth, it's not possible, you can't really become a developer after one bootcamp or maybe after a month of experience. Because your brain needs time to digest the knowledge. And the amount of things that you must learn is really, really big. And also you need not only to learn a language that you want to code in, but also how to debug your code, how to find solutions in Google, how to just sit there lots of time without any clue how to do something, and you need time to learn how to do it. This is why the realistic time for people that I saw is at least several months every single day in the evening trying to code something. It's not a weekend and it's not one month. And this will be just small results, you need much more time to become really a developer. The second problem that I see really often, that people think that they are not smart enough. So they just start watching some video on internet and it is too complicated for them. And they just stop, or maybe they try to code something, but they are getting some mistakes, they don't understand the code, and they just stop learning it. But the most important point is to understand that you will burn a lot of time as a beginner when you are learning programmer. So you won't spend it wisely but just burn because you need time to google some things, you need time to debug your own code, you need time to understand the architecture or some patterns, and this is completely fine. Nobody expects your result in one single day. But all these skills about finding typos, fixing some errors, or finding solutions in the internet is exactly what you need to be a programmer, and you will subconsciously develop these skills. This is why we are coming to the next point, a lot of people are comparing themselves with other programmers. And this is super unhealthy attitude, because the only person with which you should compare themselves is with you of yesterday. And a lot of students are writing me and asking, ok, I spend like one week of time to do this single video, is it fine, is it enough time, or is it too slow? And they are asking how much time I spent for the project. And obviously if I will say that I did it in one hour, they will be super discouraged. But for some reason they want to compare themselves as a beginner with a programmer with 11 years of experience. This is like 50,000 hours of coding. So once again, it doesn't make any difference how much time you spend on your problem. The most important point that you are moving yourself forward. The next problem I really saw like in 99% of developers. They don't have any plan. Especially beginners, they don't plan what they will learn, why they want to learn it and so on. And actually it's impossible to set your goal without a plan and it's impossible to see your next steps if you didn't plan it correctly. So actually as a beginner, if I don't know anything about programming, I will look for some videos or articles where somebody with experience are telling me what I need to learn. And for example, if you want to be a JavaScript developer, it's quite easy to find the list of technologies that you must learn and plan them accordingly, for example, for the next year. Of course you can always adjust your plan, but actually I won't start learning some new language or anything at all without clear goal plan and next steps that I need to do. One more important point is to start coding as soon as possible. It is fine to watch tutorials and this is the easiest and fastest way to learn something. This is why they are super popular. But actually the main problem with tutorials is that you think that you know how to code something. For example, you watch some course in JavaScript and then you think that you know how to use it. But actually it's not true without just trying it. You are not using it. You just learned something but you didn't try. So you can't say that you really know JavaScript. 
at the moment when you will start, you will see hundreds of questions in your head, you will see hundreds of problems or errors that you must fix, and only at that point you are really coding something. And actually I made a full video how to watch tutorials effectively. If you are interested, I will also link it on the top here. And here is my promised bonus tip. I think that a lot of programmers, even not beginners, don't think and plan enough their features or their project. Actually, they really want to start coding, because coding at the beginning is obviously fun. But the main problem is that it is easier to spend some time on planning, and then you will code a better product. You need always to try and think in your head, okay, what implications do I have, and what will happen if, for example, this or that breaks. And actually this is one more problem, a lot of people are thinking only about happy path, they think that their code will always work, they will always get data, and people will type all fields correctly. And I highly recommend you to start thinking in more pessimistic way. For example, what will happen with our function when we are getting no data, or the data are not correct, or maybe our API is broken and we are getting 500. Actually, when we are thinking in this way, our code will be more stable, easier to understand and support. So this was my list of 5 biggest mistakes that I see in beginner programmers. And if you want to improve your programming skills, I have a lot of advanced courses regarding different web technologies. And I will link them down in the description box below, so don't forget to check them out. And if you like this video and you want more content like this, don't forget to put thumbs up to support me and subscribe to the channel. And as always, happy coding!